Hey FPV pilots, smooth virus, call sign virus, here in the basement workshop. <clears throat> so, we have a pretty much 90%, maybe 95% completed Strix Goblin here. Had some time to work on this, and we're almost done. I do want to put some tape on the leading edges here to keep that from getting scuffed up. Some people laminate these wings. I'm not going to. Um, I do know how to laminate, and I have some here. But um, I think I'm just going to go with the tape on the leading edges to keep it light. And we'll go with that. So basically, I've got. I was going to put a run cam L here in the nose, but I wound up. I don't know. Some people don't like that run cam L. Actually, it's a run cam L. Plus, I think is what I have um, but some people don't like that camera and apparently you can mess around with the settings to get it looking pretty good but it's really for flying at dusk or at night and I don't really plan on flying this at dusk or at night at all so I just pulled the trigger and I got a, a, a run cam Swift 2 uh, to put here in the nose, which is pretty much my favorite camera right now. And then run cam HD2 sitting in the cradle here in the cockpit area. Let's go ahead and open it up. So it's kind of a mess in here. I need to clean this up, but you can you can see my vector in there. I got a 400 milliwatt 1.2 gigahertz video transmitter in there. Uh, GPS is sitting right here. We'll see how well it does there. I may move it move it up here but uh, carve out some foam for it, but we'll see. Um, I've got a, one of those True RC hockey puck style video transmitter antennas. It's just kind of Velcroed to the top of the fuselage here. So it's, it's a good place to put it, but it does cause one small issue. And we'll, we'll show you that what that is. First of all, let me, let me uh, I'm gonna disconnect the video transmitter and let's go ahead and, and, and power this bird up. So, we're, gonna, we're running it on Dragon Link. There's a, a Dragon Link receiver. Where's the Dragon Link? Oh, there it is. It's right there on the side. And I got a, a dipole antenna in the tail. So, we'll go ahead and power up. And I need to fix that error, but... So, also, you'll notice that we're using a, a dummy load for the antenna so I don't cause more security incidents down the street. So, yeah. Enough said about that. So let's power this up. Okay, we're armed. So I need to do some tuning here. Yeah, there's a lot of expo in that. A lot of expo. But it's working. Um, we'll work on the throws and stuff later. I actually just took the, the programming for my C1 chaser and just copied it over. <laughs> since it's the C1 chase is running on a vector as well. Hmm. That's interesting. I don't have the stabilizer on. You know what though? I bet it's in stabilization. Has to be. Oh yeah, totally is. Yeah. Huh. I updated the firmware on my Tyrannus and now my switches are all screwy. See, it's all, yeah, that ain't right. But the stabilization isn't off. All right, so see, this is why there's a lot of tuning and stuff. And that's why it's, you know, I wait until the winter time to do like a, all these firmware updates and stuff. Cause usually when I update the firmware on the Tyrannus, it changes a whole bunch of stuff. And then I have to go back through all my programs and and change things so it works again when it, it worked just fine before but now I have to put it put it back the way it was so yeah we'll be doing that soon 
Anyway, here's what I want to show you. So, right now the plane's just sitting here, the servos are quiet, but the video transmitter is powered down. So let's uh, repower up with the video transmitter on. Okay, so you guys see the digital servos in the wing are making a lot of noise. So it's picking it's picking stray RF up from this uh, video transmitter antenna because it's close to where the servo wires are. Um, so we're gonna have to do something about that. And since it's making a lot of noise, I'm gonna power it down <laughs> before I tell you what I plan on doing. Okay, powered off, and we'll shut the transmitter off. Um, so what I'm told is that you need to take the servo wires and braid them. So <clears throat> I'm going to have to take this apart again, which is kind of a pain in the butt because it's real tight in there. But I need to work on cleaning those wires up anyway. And uh, I need to take these servo wires from the elevons and braid them. If that doesn't work, then I also have some uh, ferrite cores that I can hook up on the servo wires, and we'll see if that takes it out. So a bit of tuning yet to do on my goblin, uh, but it doesn't matter because, as you'll see here real quick, it's all good because it's damn cold out here, and uh, yeah, we got some snow here in D.C. So, uh, yeah, not flying anytime soon. Uh, not this weekend, just too cold. Um, now, I can do winter flying down at Rob's house, uh, but I'd rather be, you know, a little bit above freezing. <laughs> right now, it's well below freezing. So, uh, yeah, snow day, build a day here in DC. All right, everybody, you have a super fine one, and We'll be back soon. Later.